Ricky Gray will be executed tonight at a prison in Greensville County unless the Supreme Court steps in. Now, yesterday, Governor McAuliffe announced he will not be stopping that execution. Today, we spoke to him and asked him how and why he came up with that decision. Virginia will execute one of Richmond's most notorious killers Wednesday. This execution will go forward unless the U.S. Supreme Court issues an injunction. Tuesday, Grace lawyers filed an emergency request for a stay of execution with the U.S. Supreme Court. They argue the Department of Corrections will use an unconstitutional method of execution, referring to the combination of drugs and the lethal injection. The question is, does this three drug combination is it going to cause the type of suffering that would be cruel and unusual punishment. The application came days after the Fourth Circuit Court of Appeals denied a similar request. Grace lawyers and other groups had petitioned Governor Terry McAuliffe to grant great clemency and let him serve life in prison. McAuliffe said he would not stop the execution. My job as governor is to uphold the law of the Commonwealth of Virginia. I looked at the entire file, our counsel looked at the file, and I saw no reason that I should intervene. Uh, to stop the execution of Ricky Gray. The crimes he committed were heinous. Gray and his nephew and accomplice, Ray Dandridge, shocked the city in January 2006 when they were linked to seven murders in six days. Gray was convicted for murdering Catherine and Brian Harvey and their two young daughters, Ruby and Stella. The Harveys were found bound, beaten, and stabbed inside the basement of their Woodland Heights home. The home was also set on fire. Gray received the death penalty for the murders of the daughters. Our thoughts and prayers continually go out to all, the, literally all the individuals who were impacted. This is not an easy decision for anyone to have to make, but Ricky Gray made those decisions himself, and he has to live with the consequences of the actions he took. CBS 6's legal analyst says Gray's only hope now lies with the Supreme Court. An appeal to the Supreme Court is going to take some time, and obviously Ricky Gray doesn't have time, but uh, in, in, when they see the urgency of this, you know, an injunction is something they can do pretty quickly. So the Supreme Court can still act, and they could issue an injunction to stop the execution temporarily until they consider the issues. Grace execution is scheduled for 9 o'clock tonight. Governor McAuliffe tells us he has a special phone set up in his office where he expects to hear from the Supreme Court before 9 o'clock, one way or another. Working for you at the governor's mansion, I'm Claudia Rupsich for CBS 6 News.